the, the empowerment of uh, open intelligence packed in music. And then you, you go to a concert, listen to the music, and it's complete empowerment. That's really nothing more to do other than just listening to music, dancing if you love dancing, or sitting and listening. The lyrics have direct in, in empowerment, direct empowerment. And um, just listening opens up open intelligence, which is the nature of our mind. It's like we can't even try to get it because it's natural to us all. And I really love freedom in immediate perception. When I heard that the first time, I was completely excited. Freedom in immediate perception. Now that is, that is like, a, like a gem, just recognizing that we don't have to change all our thoughts, emotions and experiences. So here in the Bands Youth Training, the introduction to open intelligence is the introduction to the nature of mind. Mind is vast and clear. And all our thoughts and emotions, usually we have negative ones, also positive ones, obviously, and neutral ones, and trying to rearrange them. And in, in the teaching we, we say data, just to keep it simple, like thoughts, emotions, well, I'm pointing here, thoughts, emotions, but it's like thoughts, emotions, and experiences, all are data. And um, coming and going, I mean, we have thoughts. It's like an unpredictable flow. And so here, the introduction to something about us that is clear, alert, and indestructible and vast, open like the sky. These metaphors, they, they actually instinctively empower the recognition of the nature of our own mind. And the short moments that you hear throughout, and you heard it possibly in the songs yesterday too, short moment, the way, it may basically means an instinctive recognition of this powerful intelligence. And then, well, I always wanted to be free of all these thoughts and emotions. And when I heard freedom and immediate perception, I thought, wow, it's a, it's a moment of recognition of open intelligence where there's nothing that needs to be done with thoughts and emotions. I don't even have to hold on to anything. You can recognize and take a short moment of open intelligence. And it's a complete freedom in the immediacy of each perception. When that's one time recognized, it can be repeated again and again without effort. Just by be basically sitting here, listening to this, to sharing, sharing our experience here, or listening to the music that has these direct instructions as the lyrics. And then it opens up like this intelligence that was overlooked just by by the, yeah, by, by the habit of emphasizing all these thoughts and emotions. Like we have this choice, either we emphasize all the thoughts and emotions or recognize open intelligence. And it's a simple choice. <laughs> the cat comes and visits us always in the teachings and shares her experience as well. <laughs> Short moments many times. And <clears throat> it's, um, it's, a, it's very simple when you hear metaphors like it's like basking in the sun or like after hard day's work. <laughs> That's even more uh, difficult to say it than it is. So like the recognition of complete relaxation. Uh, th that's what open intelligence is. It's, it's always there. It's always reliable. It, it's what's looking. It's right present. It's, it cannot be like created or made. And that's the power of open intelligence. And the power of short moments is the rec instinctive recognition of it right here. And by re repeating it many times, it suddenly becomes obvious. And then sometimes <laughs> what happens is that actually we can feel happy. 
<laughs> it can be really unusual because we're so used to our negative, uh, you know, focusing on negativity. But what is the power of that is that it's not about positive thoughts. We can feel completely happy and have really, like, really weird or negative or unpleasant thoughts at the same time. And that's open intelligence is inseparable from all data, from all thoughts and emotions. It's like the color blue in the sky. Or the breeze, that's a good one today because there are lots of breeze. So the breeze in the air, inseparable. And when you try to think about it, it's a bit, um, doesn't make sense, but it instinctively you recognize, wow, well, open intelligence is what's looking. It's, it's not a state over there. It's not trying to get into a state. And it's also best actually not, like trying to discuss open intelligence is, you, you'll find yourself not knowing anymore what is open intelligence. That is what happens. <laughs> because, but when you take a short moment, you can share your experience of that a short moment of open intelligence doesn't need to look a certain way. It doesn't have to have the right thoughts or the right attention, the, the right set of mind, like a mindfulness it might be focusing on a, on a certain sensations or objects or being very mindful towards what you're doing. That's all included. Open intelligence doesn't really, really have a certain look. It basically is what, whatever is arising and it disappears and it's freedom in immediate perception. We have the confirmation right there. And, and this, um, this is a simple practice to, to test out in your daily life. It doesn't really matter what we are involved in during the day. We could hang out on the beach or we have to study or we have to do, you know, wash up or what, whatever we're doing, we can take a short moment of open intelligence and recognize what's looking and um, what is guaranteed is that there is an ever-increasing relief that comes about by not any more over-focusing on what's happening, thoughts, emotions and experiences. That's my experience. Like there's, it's freedom in immediate perception. It's a complete freedom. I always wanted freedom and it was like all the thoughts and emotions, they always traveled with me wherever I went, so I couldn't really get away from it. So the power in Recognizing open intelligence is a complete freedom. And what it also means in, in I really love the questions, I'll go to, to the questions directly, is like in Kyle's book also about the family and the parents. I, I see for me, I have like all these th thoughts and emotions that can come up. You know, we blame, we blame others. Sometimes we blame our parents for things that doesn't make sense at all. And, but it's like, like trying to find relief. And what I see is a complete openness and actually closeness to my parents that I never experienced before, even though I had good, a good relationship with my parents. But closeness and um, care for each other that is like where there's nothing going on, like no blame and all these, all these, you know, being a victim or blaming the parents for something. And that's, that's a direct result from, from a training like this. It makes basically everyone take responsibility for their own data streams, for all their thoughts and emotions in a profound way where we can relate to people, not only of course, to parents, to everyone in an open way and don't have to avoid anyone. So sometimes actually the result is that we get far closer to our mother and father <laughs> in a way because nothing is in the way. It's perfect love. It's, an, it's a love that really doesn't avoid anything. It, and it can be 
you know, that's, that's what happens, short moments of perfect love. And, you know, in this, when we look at our own situation, family, our communities we live in, the world, it's really what, you know, we, we want to get along. And it's amazing to get along with people. We come from all over the world and we, we work in teams with people with different belief systems, different opinions, attitudes, different data, basically. And the power of open intelligence unites and empowers us to well, be of benefit, use our strengths, gifts and talents to get along. Perfect love, where there's really nothing in the way. And, you know, then we can be in teams and whatever comes up in teams, you know, the focus is on how can we, what is the solution? What can we do next? And then even if, you know, the teams, there's a suggestion, how about doing it this way? Sometimes we feel completely rejected and criticized. And then all these data come up and it's powerful to, to actually in a moment take responsibility and see, well, actually, I, no data, my thoughts and emotions cannot harm me. Rely on indestructible open intelligence. It doesn't mean that we don't say anything. It might be that we have something to say or not. But it is a, it's powerful to get to know everything about us and, and open heartedness and basically not being afraid of any kind of thoughts and emotions that come up and situations with teams. Like yesterday, we'll speak about the concert. Setting it up, it's hot, sound check, usually never things go always smooth. Although it looked really smooth, but when you ask them, it might be that some comments are there, you know, this didn't go quite well, then the cables, always something is missing. But everyone stays completely open, solution-oriented, and it's an easeful situation. We even packed in, you know, like a, a session with a photographer. It's kind of, you know, a lot that you, you want to focus on the concert, but then you go on the beach and have to take pictures. So just to explain a situation where there can be a lot coming up and people having different opinions. And that's the power of when the focus is relying on open intelligence, on that power that has a balanced view, that has clarity, that isn't limited by descriptions, but is a vast open mind, then we can respond to each. It's the power to know what to do in each situation, what's the, what's the solution. And also there's no victimhood. You know, and blame. It's 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 a game that that stops completely by taking responsibility, and we can find solutions and we can talk about things in a way that empowers everyone. So it is a, it's it's exalting everyone. Every human being has has the power to know to contribute to the benefit of all, rather than fighting. The fighting is over. That's also parts of the lyrics. If I, if, if I learn the lyrics even more, then I'll fight more. <laughs> even though I hear it all the time. But you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's powerful to recognize who we truly are and, and test it out. It's basically an invitation here to test out in our own experience, what it means, these short moments. And it's good to not think about it too much. We always say that because it's better to just come back. When there are many questions, come back and listen to it again. It naturally deepens the experience. And, and the experience of freedom in immediate perception, that's a short moment. It's, com it's, it's complete. It's complete freedom, even if data are intense. And sometimes what happens is when we let data be as it is, it seems like they go out of control. And the question about, I, I'm afraid to take a short moment because will I get crazy with all my thoughts and emotions? They surely have to be controlled. And, and just to take another short moment and the assurance of open intelligence guarantees that there is more, well, there's more and more assurance to, to let data be as it is. It's that, 
that increases. And that's why the Four Mainstays, you hear about the Four Mainstays and the, basically the, the, the support system to make open intelligence obvious at all times and make the assurance <coughs> obvious so that it's easier to let thoughts and emotions be as they are. They are like less and less a threat and more and more, more and more, just like a line drawn in water, like freedom and immediate perception. That just comes about through doing these tra trainings that we offer. These are texts that evoke open intelligence. Listening to the talks evokes open intelligence. In our direct experience, it doesn't come from somewhere else other than our own direct experience. And in the teachings, that's why we emphasize, we have teachings where, like the 12 empowerments, for example, it's a process going through all the, all the thoughts and emotions and belief systems that we feel limit our, that we feel limiting, basically, like being afraid of certain thoughts and feeling unhappy or, you know, all our relationships. So it goes through step by step, just op opening up basically by recognizing open intelligence. But in a profound way, the, the text op it unlocks like opening a treasure che chest. Click, click, click. Then the code is cracked. <laughs> and um, what that means is that open intelligence that is always present is more and more obvious.